Rick and Shari, with resources already spread really thin, people already headed out there to help with Hurricane Helene relief and Milton quickly approaching. More volunteers are raising their hand to help out where needed. Bags packed for an unforeseen journey. We are expecting things to be tough. We're expecting it to be difficult. Volunteers are heading into harm's way to help those in the path of Hurricane Milton. Michael Bradley with the Red Cross is flying out this afternoon. Hope isn't a plan, but it is important. And just going there and being that, that shoulder to cry on that person for people in their most desperate time. The New Jersey Red Cross is also en route to Orlando with a mission in mind. Take care of as many of their needs as we can. Dan Kelly and Linda Paul will be deployed to wait out the storm and then assigned to shelters, housing, clothing, and feeding people. I love what I do. It's such a wonderful feeling and you know, at the end of the day, when you're tired and you're hungry and you're filthy, um, your heart smiles. It's really a wonderful feeling. They need people like us. They need volunteers. These Red Cross volunteers are running toward the disaster, ready to help. We're able to get supplies right to the folks that need it. So it's emergency supplies. It's food. Uh, we'll do feeding for them. Uh, we'll work with our teams down there and we'll get the supplies to the people that need it. Four volunteers from southeastern Pennsylvania have packed their bags and hit the road in these disaster relief trucks to bring supplies to Florida, food, toiletries, and care kits. We'll do whatever we need to do. If we need to be in shelters, we'll work in shelters. If we need to be out in the field, we'll be out in the field helping the people. 80,000 Floridians were evacuated from the storm's path into shelters. More than 3 million are without power. PSE&G crews from South Jersey were already in Georgia helping Hurricane Helene victims. They're on their way to Florida now to help restore power. Meanwhile, Red Cross volunteers like Diane Hurd want to help restore hope, too. Just hearing the relief and the gratitude in the voices of the people that we're working with. We're helping them to see that there is hope. Now, Shari, those volunteers are actually going to be picking up the supplies down in Florida before they go into the disaster zones. They're expecting to arrive in Tallahassee sometime tomorrow. Live here in Center City, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News. Shari? Yeah, amazing and important work that they are doing. Becca, thanks. We spoke with a Red Cross volunteer from our area who's been in Florida since Monday. She spoke about one of the shelters she was positioned in near Orlando. If you've got two toddlers and you've got a two month old that you're nursing and you're by yourself and you're trying to figure out how you're going to put these kids to bed in a shelter with lights on surrounded by 500 other people. Having three children of my own, I was amazed by the calmness of this group. Norris is now in the Tampa area. She says her deployment will be at least two weeks long, but longer if she chooses.